Alright guys, I'm doing a voiceover on this video just because honestly I wasn't prepared to record this. I wasn't sure how it was going to come out, so let's get right into it. I'm using these two stretch canvases. Um, the size is 14 by 18. I'm zooming in just so you can see. There are two in a pack. Um, right here I'm just going to go ahead and flip it around so you can see the width of both. And let's get right into the other materials used. So first I'm showing you two tubes of chunky glitter in the color silver. Um, I, I actually only use one, you'll see that. Next up I am going to be using um, these glitter glue sticks. I only use the color gold, which you'll see as well. And I got these from Walmart for about three or four dollars. The next thing I have um, is a pack of confetti and I'm using that to substitute for the crushed glass look. Got that from Hobby Lobby for about $3. Now I have a pack of four paintbrushes. Got those from Walmart for a dollar. I have Mod Podge, which I also got from Walmart for about $5, I believe, and that is to adhere the glitter and the confetti. Next up is the uh, paint. Here is blue. I was trying to find some colors that pop. I really didn't have any clue of what I was doing. Um, the next color is metallic gold. And then lastly, I'm going to show you some gloss white. Now, not sure which, at first, I wasn't sure which colors I was going to use. If I was going to use all three. If I was going to try to stick to the decor in my home, which is more so the gold and white. As I'm showing you here, gold and white. Or did I want to add blue for a pop of color? Yes. No. Yes. No. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. But this is all of the supplies that I am using to create this painting. Let's get right into it. So here we have uh, the paint brushes, um, the big and the little. Not sure which one I'm going to use. I'll probably use a bigger one more and then use the smaller one for the icicle strokes, which you'll see. And then I'm just going to start with the white. Um, I chose the white and gold paint. I didn't put blue on this one. Again, that fits my decor more um, in my home. And again, I'm just freestyling, guys, just doing what I feel will work. So let's get right into it and let's see. So I'm just going to drop some paint on the canvas, as you can see. And again, I'm just freestyling, just doing as I think would work. <laughs> um, start from the bottom and pull it up until I get to about halfway of the canvas make some icicle strokes and then I'll put the gold at the top which you will see I think I'm going to actually go ahead and speed this up for you guys just so that you don't have to just literally watch me paint I mean I'm just painting from the bottom of the canvas to the very middle one color and then I'm starting at the top bringing it down to the bottom with another color so I'll go ahead and speed this up just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And we'll be back. Okay guys, here I'm just showing you how the gloss white looks on the canvas. Pretty shiny, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and take the white and do at the very tip where I stop the white um, gloss paint and I'm just going to make some icicles as I described before with the smaller paintbrush you'll see just trying to make some streaks originally I was trying to create like uh, you know like dropped icicles um, for the glitter but it didn't turn out that way you'll see it I'm just going to continue this all the way down to the end of the canvas and then I'll start at the top with the gold
just wanted to show you the product finished halfway through with the metallic gold at the top and the white gloss on the bottom just want to back it up a bit so you can see the whole thing um, the middle is the icicle effect where the confetti and the glitter will go just wanted to show you that for now before we go ahead and apply the glitter Here guys, I'm just adding the Mod Podge in the center where we created the icicle effect. Just dipping it um, basically on the gold and the white drippings of the icicle that we created. And then we're gonna put the confetti and the glitter um, from the top to the bottom. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add the confetti again this is going to serve as the faux crushed glass um, it works just as well guys it's really shiny as you'll see in the end glitter pops really really good um, but if you saw I used the bag to pour out in which I feel like next time I won't do that next time I'll use uh, my fingers and pinch it out little by little because with the bag too much comes out and when that happens it creates much more of a pile than I wanted um, but again it came out cute for my first try and I know next time what to do I would suggest you guys take it out with your fingers instead of doing what I'm doing right here pouring it out just take it out pinch by pinch and just place it where you want it um, so that you don't have too much of an excess because again I didn't wait for my painting to dry all the way which I thought it was but it was still damp so with the paint being dry and the Mod Podge adhered it just made more glitter and more confetti stick in the areas I didn't want it to so number one rule is to let your painting come completely dry before you add the Mod Podge and any glitter or, or confetti, stones, whatever you want to add to your painting so that it can just go where exactly you want it to go. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue adding the Mod Podge and the confetti and the glitter all the way until the end of the canvas. I'll go ahead and speed it up so that you can see what I am doing and then we'll dump it all off and look at the final product. Okay guys, all of the confetti and all of the glitter has been added to the canvas. Um, I need to go ahead and dump this off and then I will come back and show you what we are working with. One second. Alright guys, here it is, the final product. My first DIY canvas. Wow. I had other expectations, as I said before, but I do um, think it came out, I think it came out nice. I really enjoy uh, the contrast of the gold, the white, um, if you can see the little gold drippings of the gold glitter pen that I used to make it kind of look like the gold was falling, dripping down. Um, the glitter is beautiful. The shine is awesome. It looks like crushed glass. So if you're looking to create anything with crushed glass on canvas, go ahead and get the faux, um, go ahead and get the confetti because it will serve as faux crushed glass as you can see. Now I do have a bit of excess glitter at the bottom where the white is um, but that's only because I didn't let the painting dry completely again this is my completed look for my first DIY canvas I hope you guys enjoyed this video I had tons of fun making it I am definitely definitely the why buy when you can DIY type of girl so if you enjoyed this video if you want to see more please stay tuned make sure you come back click that like button click that support subscribe button and come back to see what we have in store Stay tuned, Tally TV. Love you guys.